everybody, Kristen Thomas Shirley with Throne Builders, and we hope you guys are doing okay out there. And we're guess what? On. This is our word for, let's see if I can get this right, July 29th, the week of July 29th, 2018. Very good. Is that right? I think you got it. Okay, awesome. Nailed it. So keep in mind and notice the hat. Tom is wearing his angry hat. Angry. And we all know what that means. That's right. In all <laughs> fairness, it's my angry bird's hat. Yeah, and technically. Angry in my mind, Angry Birds is to this generation what Super Mario Brothers was <laughs> to my generation. In some and ways. And I think that everyone should learn to kill pigs in this fashion, but that's not <laughs> part of what we're talking about here today. Uh, the, reason that, the reason that I'm wearing the hat, actually, is we wanted to talk a little bit about anger. Ever since my trip to Africa, mm -hmm. it's really been on my heart to talk to people about this, and I have in private with some people. Right. But uh, there is a need now for a different approach mm -hmm. to the things of the kingdom yeah. that are going to to require us to leave the religious complacency that we've been programmed in and really move forward. That's right. Uh, there is such a strong pull in religious people yeah. to go back and bind us to old ways of thinking, old philosophies, old mindsets. Right. And they have a tremendously difficult time embracing what the Holy Spirit is doing now. Yeah. Uh, the Holy Spirit will never contradict the love of the Father. That's right. And that's the only thing he will never contradict. Mm -hmm. But he will contradict uh, what we think is written in the Bible. He will contradict what we think his mind is. He will contradict philosophies and mindsets. And, and he will always contradict those things, but he will never contradict the love of the Father. That's really true. And yeah. uh, the reason that we decided to release this this week is that uh, we were driving recently and we had an album playing. I'll tell you about the album in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And I was just really... Uh, smitten with the, the anointing on this band and the lead singer in particular who writes most of the songs and, yeah. and uh, does the lead singing. And I was just stricken with the anointing on his life, mm -hmm. the anger. And, and the, the specific phrase that I heard was his accusation against the system is mm -hmm. profound. Yeah. We need some profound people to stand up in yes. the generation in which we live right. and accuse the system that is in place that has caused all the damage in the first place. Yeah. Did you know you could trace literally mm -hmm. every single issue that every nation has mm -hmm. back to religious indoctrination of some kind? That's true. Religion so is true. man's yeah. mm -hmm. attempt to systemize God and put him into understandable mindsets. <laughs> and what happens, and, and, yeah. and see, so you see this all throughout the Old Testament, and then in the New Testament, you see it again. Yeah. Man keeps trying to put God into a system of understanding, mm -hmm. and God keeps coming against it and saying, hey, my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts oh, yeah. are higher than your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, when Jesus came on the scene, he constantly contradicted the scriptures, right. constantly contradicted their understanding and angrily came against the mindsets that were keeping people in bondage to old ways of thinking. That's so true. Yeah. So uh, yeah. The, it's time for us to get angry. And the, 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 the album that we were listening to, and I want to encourage you to get it, and uh, you'll see the link in the description below where you can purchase it there. But the album I want you to get is uh, by Creed. Mm -hmm. I want you to get their greatest hits album. Now they have right. a lot of awesome albums. Uh, my son has severely upbraided me uh, several times for not promoting the other albums because he <laughs> said their original soundtracks are so much better quality. Yeah. And I agree with what he's saying, but the greatest hits album has the, so many of the songs on yeah. there really deal with the rage that Scott Stapp, the lead singer, mm -hmm. uh, uh, released yeah. through his songs against the establishment. Yeah, and I'd also like to throw in here that uh, as a child and growing up in elementary school mm -hmm. and, and going up into uh, middle school, um, I had a family that was a, a family that was actually from Jordan, and I stayed with them a lot overnight, and they'd come to my house. And little did I know that uh, one of the, the daughters would grow up to marry Scott Stapp, and I think that's pretty cool. And so I'm looking forward to meeting him one of these days, because yeah. I know I'm going to get to. I know our family, we've seen visions of, and of this, so that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing, too, is when my husband and I first got married, married, um, I had like a, a dental emergency and we had to go to a dentist like in the middle of the night. You know, it wasn't something we were expecting. And lo and behold, out of all people that worked on my, my mouth, it was actually Scott Stapp's stepdad 
and, and mom. And mom, isn't that something? And the reason we found out is because they had albums, mm -hmm. uh, Creed albums, and we're like, oh, and this seems unusual. What did they tell us about him at the time? Now, this was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. We've been married over 20 years, yeah. so. They told us that he had an anointing as a music missionary yeah. on his life, and they had hoped that Creed would bring that out. Yeah. And we were actually talking about this yesterday, mm -hmm. and we were saying, well, it's probably not the way they thought it would be. I'm pretty sure they were yeah. old a hard line assemblies of God, if I'm not mistaken about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but they, they were right in that he had a music anointing, but it was really more of an apostolic music anointing. That's right. Yes, it because was. Because God uses this mm -hmm. man's words to shatter religious mindsets. Mm -hmm. And by the way, religion finds, you know, communism, anti-religion, yeah. communism is a religion in and of itself. Mm -hmm. uh, religious mindsets create systems to limit and bind both God right. and people. And let, let me give an example mm -hmm. of that real quick. I don't know do this but just today it just fits in so beautifully mm -hmm. just this morning I posted something on Facebook on my you know my feed and it was a woman who's a pastor and um, she is a lesbian and, and uh, uh, let me go further before some of you <laughs> yeah. have a heart attack yeah, just keep um, your stones in your basket okay okay because this is a good thing and you'll hear me out here and I think <laughs> you're hearing me out for the ones out there that you know don't know us really well um, you know I'm not saying that I agree with every buddy that I post. Uh, but if somebody is saying something that's really helping people and they're really making a difference in people's lives, I don't have to totally agree with them right. to post their stuff or to honor them. Because honestly, you know, some people have an anointing that we don't quite understand, or God has brought them into experiences or encounters that we have maybe not had before. Right. And they have something where they're helping people. And so, yeah, I might not agree with everything that they're saying or living, but it doesn't mean I can't appreciate the message and how it's helping people and so that's kind of a perfect example of what I we're agree. talking about here about the religion and, and everything uh, like that so yeah you know just touching mm -hmm. on that we believe that everyone has the Holy Spirit Amen. and I realize that there's error of all kinds in the world right. today yeah uh, whether it be Christian or otherwise there's right. always error going to be present to a certain extent as the kingdom expands it will lessen right and in our opinion there's less error in the world today than there ever has been before right simply because the kingdom has expanded so radically yes and we're actually stepping into seasons now where you're gonna see these explosive expansions and, all over and the world. people are becoming more and more on a daily basis aware of the father's love and who he truly is and and those places uh, especially in churches and other sects of society that are portraying God in this judgmental angry way all the time um, people are starting to wake up and run away from that and say you know that can't be God because I've been told that God is love and I don't find love in those places I'm going so think about it you know the philosophies and the mindsets mm -hmm. that have brought you into bondage in your life right now yeah. You need to get angry about this. That's right. Uh, the philosophies that keep people in poverty. We just uh, were able to give a small amount of money uh, to uh, some people in Africa, yeah. people that I know personally. Mm -hmm. And uh, You met they're, them, right? They're, they're met them. I traveled with Oscar, mm -hmm. our friend Oscar. I traveled with him for five weeks. That mm -hmm. was awesome. Yeah. And then uh, we actually collected some money uh, while I was in Africa for the little orphanage in Uganda. And right. I don't know if you remember that or not, but it's philosophies. It's mindsets yeah. that have them in the poverty that they are in. Mm -hmm. It's philosophies and mindsets that have kept our family in poverty up until this last year. It's yeah. philosophies, it's mindsets that are contrary to the heart of the Father's love that yeah. bind people. That's right. And uh, just like on Angry Birds where they launch those mm -hmm. birds and they slam yeah. into those pigs things, that yeah. you need to, that, that entire, religion itself is swine. It is it is swill. It's, it's filthiness. It's the, it's, it's the very enemy of the true it, kingdom. It is the full enemy. It is the antithesis yeah. of the love of God and the kingdom of God. Right. And so uh, this week, it's time. You know, you've got these issues in your life. You've got struggles in your life. You've got, you right. see, look the world around you like, oh, the world's so messed up. Up. First of all, stop excusing it by the mindset that somehow evil has to increase in the earth. That is a right. crock of BS right. so big and stinky that has been handed down to us right. that it is absolute manure, rubbish, and shit. Drop it. <laughs> Let go of it. Right. There is no increase of evil in the earth. It's very, very clearly spelled out in the scriptures yeah. that the world would be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God, but that the old covenant system would be destroyed. Amen. And it was in 80, 70. It's done. So stop justifying the idea that evil has to prevail. I'm angry about this, and you should be too. Yeah. And I have been just angry. A quick, just a quick love pause, okay? <laughs> uh, love, love, love. Okay. Go ahead, and, and, and we're, some of us, what we're doing here is on purpose. <laughs> 
want you guys to understand what we've been through in these last, well, few months, but especially in the last seven days, especially with me, um, I've gone through something that I've never really encountered to the level that I encountered it. So I want to share with you really briefly what it was. Um, and I know a lot of you out there can relate to this. And I think it's going to bring a lot of healing as Tom and I are talking because mm. you have been wondering why am I feeling this way? Am I okay? What's wrong with me? Have I messed up? You know, and I just want to encourage you. No, no, no. You're okay. That's Listen right. to what I'm about to say. In the last seven days, I've been very angry. Okay. Try not to cry here. I'm very, very rage filled. That's not normally me. Okay. Yeah. I have bad days like everybody, but normally I'm not like that. Okay. Um, couldn't even explain it. You know, it was affecting my blood pressure. It was affecting my physical body in certain ways, making me not feel well. I'm sure some of you out there can totally relate to this. I was so angry and I was so rage filled and I could not stop speaking out how angry I was. And I, so I had to go to the father, which was difficult for me, which normally isn't, but it was difficult because when you get in that mode of being angry, you turn inward and you don't want to talk to anybody and you, and you really, you don't mean to do it, but you kind of ignore God too, because you're just, you're just with yourself at that moment and you don't know what to do. So I have been so angry and I realized that it's because, um, the things that I've been getting shown for years now, uh, I, I'm not living it to the level I want to live it. And because I'm the, I'm a real person, we're real people here. We want to people to experience breakthrough like we do. And we want to be able to be the people who have such restoration in our lives that we can take what we have, what we've gotten and share it with the world and, and free a lot of people, show them how to get restoration, basically going from the pit to the palace. If you know what I'm talking about, it's been really frustrating for us because we had some things happen, didn't we, in our lives financially and some other things that we, we couldn't understand because just a few months ago, things seemed to be a lot better in certain areas. And now all of a sudden, everything was out of sorts. You know, bills weren't getting paid, different things. And we're, we're, we're thinking, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. you know? and in fact, it, we even said that. We said, and, what's going on here? And another thing that I was getting very uh, upset about and very rageful about, and I know God showed me I was tapping into other people's rage out there, other, other people's anger, because they've lived many, many years without any breakthrough. And a big part of that is the religious mindsets that Tom has been talking about. It really is. It's kept us in this cage, and we haven't been able to be the people we were meant to be. And let me be really transparent with you here, which is it's been difficult for me to be transparent, but I'm going to start being a different person here on these videos because... I mean, what you get on these videos is what you would get if you were in my house. And same for our family. We're very real people. You know, we have had marriage struggles for 20 years. And yes, they've gotten better and better. And yes, we've fallen more in love. And yes, we've gotten restoration in our marriage. But that doesn't mean it's been perfect. Can you relate? I'm sure a lot of you can relate. We're different people. We have different giftings. We love each other very much. But yeah, we have, sometimes we have issues. Right? 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 Yes. So um, anyways, I'll be a transparent with you. And I got very angry at Tom this week. And it's not all his fault, but it was just directed towards him in a lot of the ways uh, because of the, some things that have happened in the past. So be very transparent. Once again, I'm telling you that for a reason. Um, <laughs> the key word, transparent. So, because you need to be transparent. Some of you out there need to be transparent because you need to be yourself because yeah. that's what the world needs and that's what you need. You need to be yourself. So um, let me get back to that real quick was very upset with Tom because there are some things that have gone on, not just in the marriage, but in our home that are, have come down to a lack of taking responsibility for certain things like what we speak out of our mouths, like uh, what we're doing. And so I'm speaking this out to you so that you can start to realize that maybe some of the reasons why people are still in such bondage out there and they're not getting any breakthrough in their life is because Either you or those people are not taking responsibility for what you're manifesting, what you're creating, because our words create atmosphere. Our belief systems create what's around us. And so at the end of the day, when you lay your head on the pillow, you can't blame anybody else. You have to look at yourself and say, you know, what did I do today? What did I say today? What did I believe? Did I connect with the Father's heart? Am I an honorable, respectful person? You know, these are questions that we should ask ourselves regularly. Not because we always need to be, uh, what do you call it, self-examining ourselves. That can be unwise at times, but then there's good times when we have yeah, to you do need that. To, need to, if, if things are a certain way for so long, you need to kind of step back and look in the mirror and say, okay, where, where can I make adjustments or where have I been in error? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember who said it. I'm drawing a blank 
but there's the old saying that evil prevails because good men do nothing. It's true. And, you know, if you're in a situation mm -hmm. in, in a marriage or relationship situation or job situation, financial situation, church situation, right. things aren't turning around for you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, don't... It almost never does any good to get angry at a person in their presence to like contend with someone because yeah. you know the wrath of man doesn't work the righteousness of God. But right. uh, there are times when we counsel people to do this. Yeah. You know, when they leave the room, throw a fit. Yeah. Throw a fit. Get and angry at the mindsets, at the philosophies that are in place that have caused the problems. Right. Mm -hmm. And some of you might have to do what mm -hmm. I did recently. You might have to go before some friends or some people you trust and say, this is what's going on. It's not okay. I can't handle it anymore. No more. I'm not doing this anymore. It's going to be different. It's just going to be different because this is what we're doing. And do you know, since I did that and since a lot, I mean, a lot has happened in our lives in the last few weeks and last few months, especially, but ever since we've been taking this approach, things are shifting. Things are changing. That's you know, right. we need some miracles right now, don't we? Big ones. You know, so, hey, we have to, we have to know what is causing the lack of manifestation in our lives right? That's, that's how we know. We learn these things and then we, we change, you know, we have to take responsibility for our actions and for ourselves, mm -hmm. me included in this, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a big guilty party here. So, so uh, she talked about maybe getting in front of some friends and talking to them. Maybe you don't have that. So many people that we talk to don't have that. Right. Schedule a phone call with us. You yeah. can say anything to us. Uh, and can, nothing's too weird. Is it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just you can just talk to us about stuff without worrying yeah. about us trying to fit you in our box or whatever. So yeah. uh, uh, make sure mm -hmm. that you check that uh, that you go to our website thronebooters.org and schedule a phone call with us. Yeah. If you are stuck in a spot right now where you like, I need something to happen. Or if you feel a little uncomfortable on the phone, like you're not quite ready for that, maybe you will do it in the future. But we can also uh, record you a life directional word mm -hmm. and, and send that to you. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So uh, last week we told you that we would have a video or a, a blog concerning mm -hmm. our coyote stories in the link. And um, apparently I said blog, but I meant I was intending a video. We weren't able to get it done. But uh, this week, if you look in the description below, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see yeah. the link for the coyote stories. And we want to share that with you because it ties into the dream that we shared last week about the coyote dream. It yeah. shows you how God uses a dream and then begins to make manifestation out of oh, that. Yeah. So make right. sure you check that out. It'll also be on the, the word from last week, but we wanted to include it here too because we know that most of the same people uh, mm -hmm. check this out one more thing <laughs> share this video Mm -hmm. Share Throne Builders videos. Help us become yeah. viral. Help us get in front of a whole new audience of people. Yes. Put us on your Facebook. Put us on your Twitter. Amen. Put us on your Instagram. Whatever. Put us out there mm -hmm. so that people can be encouraged by us. And if you're still if you're still hung up back there when I said the S word, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. It's a religious mindset that gets hung up. When Jesus used the word dung, it was 10 times more powerful than the word that I used in their day. Yes. Do some research right. to find out about that. That's right. Uh, their words, they're used to get across a point so I if just we actually put that there on the end to say if we actually understood the culture of the day and understand what really was being said you know uh, we would think very differently right now about things you know when and when the scriptures speak about profane language just let me throw that because I just saw some ah, the profane language. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, it's talking about people that are justifying old covenant religion that yeah. was the whole context. That was profane yeah. because the temple had already been profaned. It was all a profaned religious system. And when they were trying to bring people back to that, mm -hmm. that was the profanity of the day. It yeah. wasn't saying hell or damn or whatever. Okay. So right. um, I think that we've done our damage. Yeah. With one our last audience. One oh, last wait, wait. One, one more. Last one thing. more. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, well, it just came to me, you know, in the scriptures, and, you know, we don't always mention the scriptures. Of course, the scriptures are a wonderful thing to learn from, and we, I've learned a lot from the scriptures. And there is a verse in the Bible that speaks about, and basically says, be angry. Okay, there's the hat. I actually wanted to talk about be that. Be angry and sin, sin not. not. Now, let's, let's just share Let real Let not your quick. son go down upon on your wrath. Upon your Come wrath. On, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. What have we discovered about Ephesians this? Ephesians chapter 4, the entire context is this. Yeah. God has made us one. We're completely unified in him. That's the whole context of Ephesians chapter 4. Everything stems out of that. Right. Yeah. Be angry and sin not has to do with mm -hmm. be angry at the idea of disunity. Be angry at this idea. Don't allow yourself to sin. In other words, don't contend with another person in right. that. But be angry. 
don't sin by disfellowship being right. taken uh, out. And don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. In other words, make sure your wrath is always in the light right. when it comes to to this. And also, it also was in regards to be angry with your poverty, be angry with your lack and your the mindsets that you know you have inside of you, but you haven't quite learned how to, to turn those mindsets around. Uh, and we're here to help you with that, by the way. Um, but be angry at those things in your life and realize that you are the solution, that, that the Father is going to use you to be the solution to your own problems. And yes, people will come around you to help you, but ultimately, like I said earlier, when you lay your head on the bed, at night. We can't point the finger at anybody else. We have to say, it's me. What have I done? You know, so. So the basic message in a nutshell for all of us this week is you just need to pull a Yosemite Sam all over those religious mindsets <laughs> and you need to go crazy against them mm -hmm. and let the rage that is inside yeah. of you be directed against those things right. and tear them down. Don't forget to purchase uh, Creed's Greatest Hits album below. Uh, yeah. It's great music and powerful yes. messages and I'm not saying that we agree with everything or agree with the lifestyles of everything and yada 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 yeah. but uh, there's an anointing there that but I, I happen to, to know. People. I do partly know this family uh, and so I do know they're good people, and I do know they're trying to make a difference. Yeah. So. so this is the word for the week of July 29th, 2018. Hope you've been blessed. Looking forward to your comments below. Love you guys. Any one of you lily-livered, bow-legged varmints care to slap leather with me? In case any of you get any ideas, you better know who you're dealing with. I'm the hootinest, tootinest, shootinest, bobtail wildcat in the West. <laughs>